फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद एन इम्पॉर्टेंट चैप्टर विच इज नोन एज प्रॉफिट प्रायर टू इनकॉर्पोरेशन The name itself defines what the chapter will be. Profit prior to incorporation. If you have studied the law, company's account, then you might understand what does this mean. In this chapter, in simple in simple manner, what to say? We have to calculate the profit prior to incorporation. So before starting with something very detailed about this chapter, we'll understand it in a simple manner, in a story manner. Okay. I want you all to write the story because you'll listen the story, you'll enjoy the story, you understand it for time being, but later you'll forget it. That's why I better write it, and I am also writing it so that you can copy it. Mr. A is there. This is Mr. A. Okay. He had purchased a company, say on first April. Two thousand and fifteen, but the company got incorporated on first July two thousand and fifteen. So tell me, from which date the company will Mr. A will start his business, whether on the date of purchase or whether on the date of incorporation. think an answer to yourself and check whether you said it right the mr a will start his business which he has purchased on the very first day on which he has purchased okay but if you have studied law in that you may understand things in detail what does incorporation means what are the features of incorporation what benefits are there after incorporation so i'll 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 rather tell you first read that and understand it because If you read that, you will get a better grip on this chapter. Even if you don't read it, will make a better grip on this chapter. Okay. So, since the Mr. A has started his business on the very first day of purchase of the business, so he will start the business on first April two thousand and fifteen. But the company is getting incorporated on first July two thousand and fifteen. So till that period. whatever whatever profits mr a has incurred will be will be transferred to capital reserve okay and and if he incurs incurs wait incurs any losses it will be transferred to goodwill okay so we'll understand it now since mr a has purchased a company on 1st april 2015 but the benefits of company will be available after getting incorporated so if he thinks only after getting incorporated he will start the business then it is wrong for this 3 months gap between 1st april to 1st july he may lose a lot of sources that a lot of sources like money his customers uh, then various debtors creditors so that's why to keep the business running this chapter is from profit prior to incorporation and profit prior to incorporation will be simply transferred to goodwill so what we have to do we'll see step 1 our trial balance will be provided a trial balance will be provided step 2 we simply need to divide 
in simple man in simple words i am saying otherwise the word is bifurcated we simply need to divide the expenses and income in the ratio that is time ratio and sales ratio and as per direction given in the question okay so step 2 is this step 3 after dividing the expenses and income in the above mentioned ratios finally we will get profit or loss step 3 step 4 okay we need to draw a statement in which five columns should be there which are the five columns the five columns are particulars then particulars then total amount then we have basis of apportionment pre incorporation and post incorporation so this is not the hard and fast rule of solving the sum i have just written it if you want it please pause the video and firstly write this firstly copy this much i hope you all have copied this much if not please pause the video and copy i hope you all have copied copy the steps one more step is there step 5 at the end if in the pre incorporated pre incorporated column there is profit it will be transferred to capital reserve and and if loss it will be transferred to goodwill hope this is quite clear don't take any tension right now because i know you all are not getting anything from this much but i there is more things to be thought in the introduction so wait at the end in the post column post incorporative column there is profit or loss it will be transferred to pnl account simple sense so we just need to know this part is very important this part is very important and these two are very much important ratios will understand ratios are quite simple if you want please copy step number 5 and step number 6 oh i'm sorry firstly copy 1 2 4 steps
I hope you all have copied. Copy the last two steps, fifth and sixth. Okay. If you if you know some little bit about cost accounting, expenses are classified into two. That is. fixed expenses and variable expenses okay fixed expenses simply means time ratio variable expenses simply means sales ratio what does fixed expenses means fixed expenses means whether you have started the business or not such expenses will be incurred or a better as per cost accounting manner fixed expenses will remain same even if increase in the production of units that means that rent will remain same even even if you produce 2000 units or 5000 units hope this is quite clear now this explanation now let's start